And things are slowly returning to normal at TF Green right now. The storm has caused travel disruptions in several states, leaving many people stranded. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Radisky joins us and continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage live from the mobile newsroom. Julie. Well, some good news. Amtrak has now uh, restored full service a few hours ago, and more flights are now hitting the runway. And that's certainly a relief for passengers. It was canceled, and then it wasn't canceled, and then it was canceled, and then it wasn't, and nobody's picking up their phones, and you can't get in touch. Jordan Berg finally got word his flight to Kentucky was back on, so Mom made the drive all the way from Falmouth to TF Green. A bit stressful to make it here. It was more stressful knowing that he was going to leave and he wasn't going to come back home and stay with us for another week. <laughs> Travelers caught off guard by the winter blast had to make do with delays and cancellations, whether by plane or train. By mid-afternoon, most flights on time, but that's if you could grab a seat. They had to take some people off because of the wait. Oh, okay. And I said, no way, not me. <laughs> And these bags are still piling up. The luggage arrived, but their owners are still stuck somewhere. No idea it was going to be this bad. No idea. I really thought it wasn't. It was going to be a you know Passover thing, and everybody would be on their merry way back home. But <laughs> it didn't turn out like that. I wish it did. And travel troubles far from over. Thousands still need to rebook their flights, and uh, coming up at 6, we'll hear from folks on what it was like to fly in this storm. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Julie Roditsky, Eyewitness News.